Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding that you're watching right now. I'm sure of it. Anyways, this week's episode, we're going to talk about the top five jib boards for 2021, 2022. That's right. You like hitting rails. You like hitting boxes. I don't know why you hit boxes. Go hit rails. You want a soft, playful, buttery board? Here you go. Number five, the Arbor Draft. You know what's great about this board? You get two camber options. You can go full reverse from the center, which makes it even easier to press, or you can go camber, and then you get a little more pop. Basically, when Arbor decided to revamp their whole line, the Draft was the board that changed everything for them. This was the board that invented their parabolic rocker. It did. It changed everything for them. Now, some of you might be like, I don't care about this history lesson. Tell me why I need to buy this thing. Okay, fine, here. Playful in the tips where you need it. It's still gonna have pop. You can steer it right underfoot like a skateboard with the rocker, but if you ride the camber one, you can still do the same because of that grip tech on there. Overall, it's gonna do what you need it to do. It's a great board. It's playful where you want it to be, so check it out. Number four, the Rome Artifact. You know what's great about the Artifact? It's been around forever and it's gone through a lot of different iterations. And the new one with that double kick technology in the tip and the tail, awesome. You get camber underfoot, you got just a board that's easy to press, it pops, it does everything. It's not just limited to being a full-blown jib noodle. Number three, the Telus Edit. New board for this year from Telus, and my God, is it buttery and smooth. It presses with ease, but yet it still retains just a little bit of pop. It's one of those boards that doesn't fold when you press into it, which is nice, but it's not so demanding that you're putting a lot of effort to get the snap back out of it. Number two, the K2 Geometric. I know some people are like, Averin, why not the World Peace? Why? Because the Geometric's actually better, in my opinion. Press is easier, still has pop, it's a little more playful. When they killed off the worldwide weapon, they made the World Peace and the Geometric. I think the Geometric is just the better jib board, while the World Peace is more of an all-around park board or jib board with snap. That's why I'm going with the Geometric. I liked it. It's playful. It's nice to be able to press on camber and not have a board kill you, but still have just a little bit of pop. Honorable mentions, all great boards, but just barely didn't make it on this list. The DC PBJ, the Ride Kink, the Libtech Box Scratcher. As I said, great boards, just barely didn't make it on this list. And the number one jib board for 2021-2022 is the Scott Stevens Pro. I like the way that they revamped it. This board is playful, it's buttery. Are you gonna ride like Scott Stevens? I don't know, maybe you need to get out there and try it yourself. But I will say this, it's a jib board through and through, and it's an amazing board. You just notice how much technology actually goes into this thing and how well it actually rides. So why don't you go check it out if you're trying to up your jib game. This has been my top five jib boards for 2021, 2022. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Did I forget one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this list. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here, do you want to support us further? Swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.